Horse racing uses a running start where the starting gate is placed back from the point where the race clock starts. For example, for a one mile race at Golden Gate Fields, the gate is positioned about 115 feet from the red and white pole with is both the start and finish since the Golden Gate Field track is one mile around. In this video, I try to answer these three questions. How fast does a horse get from the gate to the start? How fast is it going when it gets there? And how does this speed compare to its speed at the finish? I use the technique I described in my earlier video, how to measure instantaneous speed with a camcorder. This technique uses interlaced video to create a double image separated in time by half a frame time, about 1 60th of a second. In this next one mile race, the horses are number one, Nip of Gold, number two, Dancing Lauren, number three, Magic Mimsy, number four, Silverada, number five, Tis a Gold, and number six, Blarney Kiss. You can see the two images separated by about 1 60th of a second. I find that the lead horse travels the 115 feet in 3.2 seconds and reaches 41.5 miles per hour at the start pole. Whips them in. Less than a half mile to go, 
Silverado with Blarney Kiss testing each other's metal. Three lengths ahead of Nip of Gold who's running into it nicely. Dancing Law in fourth, two lengths Magic Mimsy and Tissa Gold. At the 5.16's pole, Silverado, Blarney Kiss together. Two and a half lengths from Nip of Gold who's still running on. Then comes Dancing Law and clear of Magic Mimsy. Inside the quarter pole, Silverado, Blarney Kiss. Silverado about a half length in front of the top of the lane. Blarney Kiss coming back yet again. Dancing Lauren descends on them. Nip of Gold in the all yellow. Magic Mimsy at any old price is running a huge race. It's Dancing Lauren, Nip of Gold and Magic Mimsy along the inside. Magic Mimsy, 55 to 1, making her five-year-old debut. Magic Mimsy wins going away at 35 miles per hour. Not a bad payout for a $2 bet.